Hey everyone, this is Kevin from themathworld.com and today we're going to be looking at supplementary and complementary angles. And the first one we're going to go over is supplementary and you'll see this a lot in geometry and a lot of times they'll give you straight line and they'll give you an angle and they'll say this one is 60 degrees find the supplementary angle. And all this means is if there's two angles and it's supplementary they're going to add up to 180 degrees, meaning the two angles together, if you put them next to each other, will equal out a straight line. The angle of a straight line is 180 degrees. So they're going to supplement each other into 180 degrees. So in this example, if we're given 60 degrees, then to find this other angle right here, we're going to take 180 and subtract 60. And we're left with 120. So the supplementary angle of this is 120 degrees. So we'll go ahead and take a look at another one. Let's say we're given 45 degrees and they don't even give us any angles. All they say is find the supplementary angle for 45 degrees. So all we have to do, we can draw it out if we want to, We're looking for this angle right here, and all we have to do is take 180 and subtract 45, and we're left with 135. So the supplementary angle for 45 is 135. All you have to do is subtract the number that you're given from 180, and that's going to be the supplementary angle, because 135 and 45 are going to equal 180 degrees. The next one that we're going to take a look at is complementary angles. And complementary angles are going to add up to 90 degrees. So if you're given a right triangle, it should be a right triangle, and if they say this one is 45 degrees, find the complementary angle for 45 degrees. What they're asking you is what other angle added to this is equal to 90 degrees? Because this entire thing is 90 degrees. So all we have to do is take 90 and subtract what we already have here, 45 degrees. So the complementary angle for 45 degrees is 45. 90 minus 45 is 45. And we'll go ahead and do one more. Let's say they give us 30 and 30 degrees and say find the complementary angle for 30 degrees. All we have to do is take 90 subtract the angle that we have and the complementary angle for 30 is 9 minus 3 is 6, so 60 degrees and a lot of times you'll see complementary angles in a right triangle so let's say you'll see a right triangle and all the angles in a right triangle added together are 180 degrees but this is already given, we know that a right triangle is 90 degrees and a lot of times they'll give you this angle here and they may say this angle is 36 degrees. Now we know that since this is 90 degrees, these two other angles in a right triangle are complementary. Since all of these add up to 180, if we subtract out the right angle itself, we're left with 90 degrees. So in a right triangle, these two angles right here are always going to add up to 90 degrees, which makes them complementary. So in this case, if we have 36 degrees right here, to find the complementary angle for 36 degrees in a right triangle, all we have to do is take 90 and subtract 36. And this is going to give us our answer. So if we all want to work this out, 10, 4, 54. So the complementary angle 36 degrees in a right triangle is 54 degrees. And this is an easy way to know supplementary, which two, ang two angles equal 180 degrees, and complementary angles, two angles add up to 90 degrees. And a lot of times you'll see complementary angles in a right triangle, the two angles that are not the right triangle itself. So these are supplementary and complementary angles. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and learned a lot. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. And make sure you check out the website, themathworld.com, 
to practice this and learn other geometry topics. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next video.